How can a consensus national player of the year be underrated? And Bryce went to see her play and his uh, words to me when he left the gym was she's better than I thought she was going to be. And I went to watch and I agreed with him. Not every team thought so. And the NCAA's leading score was still available when the Wings drafted in the second round. The Dallas Wings select Megan Gustafson. To be able to finally hear my name call, it was so exciting. I know there's some people thinking that I went too late in the draft, but I honestly think I'm meant to be here and there's a reason why I was picked at this number. Gustafson had put up superlative numbers at the University of Iowa. She led all Division I players in scoring and field goal percentage in both her junior and senior years. She also accomplished some important team goals. To be able to win a Big Ten tournament championship was something that I dreamt about, you know, all season long. The three years previous were not the best. We, we kind of came up pretty short in the Big Ten tournament, and just to get that on my senior year it was so special. The Mark Gustafson left in the Hawkeye program will be a lasting one. The entire University of Iowa has just been behind me throughout through it all, you know, from day one. and. Um, you know, just to hear that they're going to retire my jersey, that's kind of the ultimate goal as a basketball player is to be able to get, you know, your jersey retired and to know that um, your hard work is paid off. While at Iowa, the marketing finance major learned how to play effectively as a six foot three post player. Focused on the little things, little details that my coaches really emphasized, such as footwork was really important to me to be able to be crafty with my feet because I might not be the tallest person out there, um, but I'm able to really um, counter whatever they throw at me. Gustafson came to training camp with the Wings and played in three preseason games. But trades near the end of camp brought in veteran players with her position, and she didn't make the final cut. But the Wisconsin native returned to bolster the Wings' injury-depleted roster in June. Gustafson made her WNBA debut on June 20th against the Mercury. She recorded her first official WNBA basket a few minutes later, and even her first professional assist. Since then, the rookie has gotten regular minutes off the bench as she works to adjust to the pro game. Our league's a lot different than the college league. The lane's wider, the athletes are bigger, stronger, and quicker. So she's gonna have to make some adjustments herself to really prosper. But with as, as hungry she, as she is, with the attitude that she has, her work ethic, she's humble and she receives coaching so well. She has the ability to, to keep improving and to play well at this level. The NCAA star turned WNBA underdog knows her coaches and her teammates have an important role to play in her realizing her dreams of not only playing professional basketball, but winning WNBA games with the Dallas Wings. Megan Gustafson! It's so exciting. You know, I think we have everything we need to be able to be successful, you know. There's a lot of doubters right now. I think, honestly, if we just work together and we work as hard as we possibly can, we're a super gritty team. I think we've faced a lot of adversity here early in the season, and um, just to get through that, I think we're going to be a better team because of it.